supposed to be 50-50. Sorry, I realized that I had not clicked the record thing. Say the question again, sorry. What should it be, John? 50 it's supposed to be split with the two, uh, the sponsor and organization, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The minutes, the minutes did not reflect that. No. Okay. That's after the expenses. After yeah. the expenses, yeah. Yeah, and that should we had agreed to that. That's definitely <clears throat> what we decided. I'll fix the minutes on that. Okay. Other corrections. I got a silly little thing. There's no H on my name. Ah, uh, it is not silly. a big deal. Who is that, Sarah? Yeah, Sarah with no H. No, sorry. No problem, Jamie. For revisions for last month. And there's there's a typo in the arts and crafts paragraph. It's way not they. Sorry. Typos happen. I forgot. Anything else? Do you all trust me to make the changes as we've discussed and we can pass them as revised or we can save it till next month? I'm not sure what the protocol is here. I Not move we pass them as revised. Second. Okay, let's go in order. Bill. Well, thumb, uh, you're muted, so thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah, we're good. Okay. I pass, Bates. Good. Frosty? Fred? Yep. Adelia? Yes. Jane? Yep. Amy? Sarah? Yep. Keith? Yes. John? Yep. Lisa? Me? Yes. Oh, Joyce Lee and Lisa. Yes. Excellent. Oh, so I will make those revisions and file them with the day. Um Adelia had an amazing week last week. Adelia, you want to report? Oh, where did Adelia go? We may have to come back to fundraising. We lost our superstar. There she is. <laughs> I have to let my dog out. Oh, okay. Can you report on your tremendous success in fundraising last week? Um, yeah, check for what, $5,000? Didn't you? Say that again, it broke up and I want to make sure everybody hears. I think you got a check for $5,000. Yes, we yes. did. From Fairview Farms. Fairview Farms, and you have a promise of was it 500? I don't have the paper in front of me. I think muffins was 500. Yeah. A couple of smaller yeah. ones came in. Yeah. Okay. A couple of mailbox. What? I was asking Fred that there were a couple others in the mailbox. Yeah, we've gotten a couple of smaller checks, but the, the Fairview Farms was the, the one big one. We also got a $5,000 pledge from Yankee Candle. Ashley can't join us tonight. From $5,000 from Yankee Candle. And they are going to give us 250 candles. Valentine's Day cards. So we need to revisit Wax Barn because we had, they wanted something. <laughs> then, did, did you hear anything from uh, Jones Witzer? No. No. The idea I had a, an exchange with them. I sent them the packet. I never heard back. Um, anybody else have anything to report from any of the people? I mean, I trust that you all have been talking to the people on your list and um, hopefully some of them will be given. I have a problem. One of my People died. Oh, that's a problem. Who will? Who was that? To take him off the list. Again, um, yeah. Mm. Another one of my people was in the hospital. Probably can tell you more about that. 
Mm. Obviously, life happens or things happen, and we cannot expect everyone to be in a position to give at this time, but it's important that we contact everyone and because I mean, we're, we're only four months out. That's not a lot of time. And if anybody wants to be a sponsor of any event, um, we need to get that in the works. Yeah. Yes, we will take their money whenever. Uh, if they want to be a sponsor, that takes, that takes planning. Um, Keith, you and I have come. Oh, who's going to say something? No. Okay. Keith, you and I had a conversation before about uh, Gary at Tom's. We had, we had talked among ourselves about Tom's, hooking up with Tom's for their Friday night cruise night and the possibility of them doing a hot dog eating contest at family day. I, it sounds though that nobody had ever talked to Gary about these things. Is that correct? Is that a year of a conversation um, again? I had a conversation with them about it a while back, and then I got his his home phone is the uh, the old home phone isn't working um, anymore. So I got his cell phone the other day when I was buying a hot dog, and I said I wanted to be in touch about the Whitley 250th and the car show. Um, at the time, I didn't mention the hot dog eating contest, but it was probably a year ago or more that last time I had mentioned it to him. So if he had not remembered it, that's probably why. Okay. He okay. does know about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does. He, and, uh, and my plan is to be back in touch with him about the car show. Cause that's, we want to put a concert on there and he thought that was a good idea. Um, but I want to talk to him about details and I can certainly uh, reminded about the hot dog eating contest, but that, that somebody else is going to probably liaise with them on that. Well, we want that. That was something that you know we had thrown around as a possible, you know, attract family. Amy, you are our family day people here. Um, forgive me if I'm missing anybody. Is that something you all have talked about? Is it something we want? Yeah. That's the thing. We haven't, I wasn't aware of the um, hot dog eating contest, um, but if I was going to go talk to Gary Clock this week with Don about um, providing food for family day, because I haven't had any luck with food trucks. So um, mm. I, can, I can mention that to him when we go um, and you know see if we can maybe have a good idea of a <laughs> a time you know so when i make a flyer i can at least have a time for that event to occur um but i think it's a great idea as long as we're going to meet next week and i can get the rest of the committees okay to to move forward mm. with that okay and if you're talking to him anyway um if you want to yeah. talk about that but joyce if you continue connecting with him about the cruise mm. because that involves yeah. you know a concert i think right. it's a for both of you to be talking to him about different things. Yeah, no, that's it. And and honestly, if you, Family Day doesn't feel like they want a hot dog eating contest, you don't have to do it. That's yeah. for sure. And I think he could say to Gary, I know maybe somebody talked about a hot dog eating contest, but we really need someone there who can serve up food. And, um, and, and, and that, that might be the thing, the way to go. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. We're not trying to force a hot dog eating contest onto the the, now, um, another, the family day committee. Another thing that can go along with that opportunity when we and is a, Gary's approached about it is that the the sponsorship package, you know, the fundraising package, as far as the in kind aspect of things, so that he can we can put a monetary amount on his what he's donating and that can be contribution instead of cash. You follow me? You know what I'm talking about, Amy? Oh yeah, that can be an in-kind contribution, absolutely. Correct. Oh yeah. Maybe, um, Keith, if you can, 
maybe stop by the offices. So when I approach him, I, I feel bad because I know he's kind of signed up for multiple events um, throughout the week. So if I can either explain that to him or yeah. um, because that might that might help a little bit to sign yeah, up. Yeah. I don't have a problem of just con it, I can go and contact him directly and and then let him make that determination how he wants to how he wants to donate his services and let him make that determination too. But just so he knows that that can go towards um, you know a, a tax write off in that aspect that he's making a contribution to our nonprofit. Definitely. Okay, fundraising and going through the events intersect. Um, I want to talk about the events, but we can also talk about, in some cases, how they will be funded and how it will be organized. Very important. At the center went forms earlier today that we need everyone to fill in for events that they are coordinating. We need important things like start at a time. That she is there. You know, one of the things I was gonna do over and I realized I can't do that because I don't know what I'm inviting them to, or when I'm inviting them to. Fred's saying that my mic is cutting out. Is this any, I just switched mics. Is that any better? Seems to be. Okay, let's go with that. Um, so it's critical that everybody complete that Google form as soon as possible with whatever information you do have. You can go in again later as you get more information, but I can't contact them. You know, we were talking about having an article in the Reporter and the Gazette. I don't have enough details for that. I don't have enough to invite them. We are going to write an, an insert for the scoop telling people to save the date, but again, I need to know what I'm telling them to save on their calendars. We know what days things are, we've agreed on that, but we haven't discussed times and we probably need to nail those down and location. Because if we're gonna start promoting things, we need that. Speaking of promoting things, I got an email from a woman at the Franklin County Chamber saying they want to help promote this these events and i'll be talking to her in a couple of weeks so that would be great if the chamber helps us um i also met lisa ashley and i met a couple of weeks ago and we're meeting again later this week to start putting together a marketing plan of how are we going to get the word out and we will have more information on that to follow but for the time being, please know that we're relying heavily on social media, we, but we do have a budget that we can use for paid advertising, the papers, the radio stations, uh, depending on the individual events, what makes the most sense. So we're working on all of that. Let's go through the events. You know, as, as typical, we will only talk about something if there is something to talk about. We don't have to spend a lot of time on things we don't have updates on. Cruise night for Friday the 17th. Um, Joyce, you said you're talking to Gary about that. You're working on getting a band for that. I don't know that there's anything else we need to do on that other than promote it. Anything else you need for the group on that? Okay. Um, polka night. Base. Yes. What are you? How how are you making out on that? What are your your thoughts and your needs? Uh, we're doing pretty good. I've got the bands lined up. Uh, it's going to be on June 18th from yeah. 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. 
It's going to be at the fire department under the tent, which I've been talking to Keith about. Um, we've got Eddie Foreman and Dennis Poliski and the Maestro's men. Uh, I've got, I contacted Tom's hot dog, talked to Gary in person. Um, he is willing to provide food for that event for me. And I have still got to reach out to a beer vendor tomorrow. Okay. This is where we need to coordinate things because you want Gary for polka night, Amy, you want Gary for family day. We need as a group to coordinate that we're not relying on somebody more than they can do. And to me, a big missing in this picture is Wait Leanne. Would Wait Leanne partner with you or can sponsor or partner with you on polka night and have hot dogs for family day? I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I know that I spoke uh, with Chip a couple of years ago when we were first talking about this. And at that point, he said they wanted to support the 250th. They were budgeting for it, but he didn't have specifics. Or is there someone else who we should be talking to for food for either or family day? Because we... It's not fair to ask Gary to do that. He may be very willing to do both. And that's why Amy and I are going to go down and approach him. And just to pick his brain, because he may say, go pound sand on both of them. I highly doubt it because I, you know, I've already got him pretty much signed up for the 18th. Um, he hadn't heard anything about it. He did say something about the, the hot dog eating contest, which he would provide the hot dogs for that. But where that wasn't my issue, I did not provide, didn't uh, ask him any further questions on that. Um, so I think Amy and I can uh, shoot down. We can have a face to face with him and see if he's willing to do both events for us. Right. So if the two of you are coordinating, that's that's perfect. You'll have a joint conversation. If he wants to do both, excellent. If he wants to do one, you are there together for that conversation. Yeah, and my feeling, my feeling too, is if he says he can't do one or the other, then uh, we can ask uh, the Wheatley Inn. But my feeling is the Wheatley Inn would be more of a gourmet type of meal. And all I'm looking for at Polka Night is hot dogs, hamburgers, a little kibasa, and bags of chips, some beer. Keep everybody happy. Quick, easy, in and out. Great. Is there another ask? we want to make of Wait Leanne. Is there something, and, and I don't expect an answer now, but it's best when we approach places, if we don't just want money, money is always nice. If, if we want a thing that we suggest it rather than they suggest it, because then we know it's something that we need. So we should think about other businesses in town as well but it's not just about the inn that um, could provide a you know could provide a particular service or support a particular event. You know, in terms of Waitley Inn, um, sometimes they can send things across to the concerts because they're right there. So events that are at town hall, like maybe arts and crafts fair, could use some snacks. Maybe like whatever concerts end up being indoors there could be a place where where they could contribute there mm -hmm. that's uh that, i think it's something they have done in the past a little bit so okay lisa do you have thoughts on that i, I saw you moving your head but... i do i initially thought of contacting them and getting some kind of appetizers but in speaking with the people that are participating nobody wants food oh. they don't want sticky fingers all over their artwork and so i have a another alternative that maybe we could do instead but anyways, so, okay. but thank you, Joyce. Okay. Um, the other thing is if there's nothing that says they have to provide food if they want to sponsor or co-sponsor the fireworks, for example, because that is you know, 
in in their front yard and potentially mm -hmm. people could come to them for dinner before the fireworks show. So that's yeah. another you know, potential ask of them because we do not have a sponsor for the fireworks. Mm -hmm. So I know Joyce, you were you were going to talk to them, right? Yes, I'm still trying to get a hold of them. It's okay. it's hard with my my job during the day. <laughs> it's been hard, but I'm I, I just have to really knuckle down. Okay, excellent. Um, continuing down our list, anything uh, else Susan? on the Arts and Crafts show? Susan. Yeah. I would like to just point out that uh, muffins, I've, I'm not I have not used them, but I have been told that muffins does catering. So that you could think about that if if you was a venue that was needed. Oh, interesting. Actually, I don't remember where it was, but I maybe maybe it was at elect at elections. Muffins doing like cookie trays and things right. like it's, that. Yeah. If it's, that is another possibility for in, in conjunction with Tom's for either family day or polka to have Tom's for entree, if you want to call it that, and muffins for you know, a, a sweet, a dessert. These are thoughts, um, but as long as we are coordinating so that everybody knows what everybody else is doing. Uh, I've, I've got one, Bates, on the polka night beer, have you contacted Berkshire Brewing? I have not, and I will not be contacting them because everybody I've talked to that's in the Polish community will not drink that heavy beer. They okay. want a light beer like a Budweiser, Bush, Miller Genuine Draft. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but yeah. No, I've been talking to a bunch of uh, the Polish community to get their input on it. That okay, now I just thought of them because back. I know they're, they're doing a lot of community outreach kind yep. of stuff. With and I did originally, beer. but the beer's too heavy. Okay. Okay. Are That's there, fine. Keith, you mentioned when Keith and I presented to the select board the other night, just an update of what was going on. And Keith, you had mentioned that we would need a couple of liquor licenses. What were the other events you were thinking? We need a liquor license for the chicken barbecue, the polka, and the fireman's muster. Three. So three. would Berkshire make sense for either the barbecue or the muster? to see if they would support that. I mean, it's it's certainly a possibility in the aspect that um, if as long as we have the opportunity to have an assortment of, of draft beer, you know, if we want to have uh, a light beer like a Bud Light along with a BBC, and especially if they're willing to donate something, Okay, so that's something you know, worth worth exploring for those events. Um, okay, uh, Lisa, anything else on the Arts and Crafts show? Um, we have another meeting tomorrow night to go over everything. Um, it's just gonna be on the Tuesday. Everybody was fine with that. And as I mentioned before, they don't want any food, which makes it really easy. And we're just working out the times and the demos and all that kind of stuff. So we're pretty under control. Excellent. I felt so bad that I couldn't give you my Zoom login, but I'm teaching tomorrow night. So no, I mean, that's okay. I'm just using my work one. No worries. Okay. It, it is my work one and my company pays for it. So I, I should use it for my job. Um, the barbecue, any update on that? We met yesterday. Um, help me out, Keith. Uh, when we said we were going to serve at... 5 30 and 7 or what we're thinking we're gonna we our issue our plan is to buy and at least 300 chickens and we're gonna, on that friday night which is the uh before the fireworks the 26 the schedule. Uh -huh. the 24th yeah and it'll be at the fire station under the tent. And the only question that we had is, or uh, is the town going to buy sandy cans for and from the same company, or did was I supposed to? Could I? You want me to contact Carson's and find out what 
I would need like a total number for different events. Or they want to move them. I mean, if, because the barbecue, the polka, the parade, family day, they're all going to need cans. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, I mean, it's a logistics thing. And I just, I mean, I'll be happy to call Carson's and uh, see what they'll do. And uh, we, John, we had, I believe, had started with Carson cans way back when we had the, the right. flea yep. market at the fire station. Yep. And um, you're, you're exactly right that we're going to need to um, have somebody mm. moving them around for the entire week. So um, it's not just a one day event. It's, yeah, it's we don't, we don't need them for all the events, do we? Well, more or less, I mean, they should pretty much figure they are going to need to commit at least a half a dozen of them. And, and I even have, you know, contact information also in regards to bringing in one of the, the portable trailers that actually ha are the toilets on a trailer. Um, that's another yep. option that a lot of people prefer versus going into an out, you know, like the sandy cans. But maybe, you know, John, maybe the simple thing, let, why don't you and I work on that? Okay. Okay. Yep. That would be great. Uh, let me go back, Lisa. Do you have a time for the arts and crafts show? I'm sorry, what? Do you have, a t have time for the arts and crafts um, We're working that out. I think it's going to be like 11 to 2 and then 5 to 8 in two sessions. So there's a break for the artists to go home and grab something to eat or whatever but we're going to confirm all that tomorrow so okay. i'll have more for ashley on wednesday after we meet great um cruz and i they usually do five five to dusk something like that i'm just putting down rough times here um let me come back to the concerts ecumenical service any update on that I do believe we're going to, you might, may want to chime in, uh, just be with our regular church church service and we will be involving other clergy. So there will be a lot of um, the Jewish community, the uh, Catholics uh, from South Fairfield. Uh, it'll be a, a participation of lots of different um, faiths. Excellent. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. Um, do you have a rough, a rough time on that? What time that would be? 10, 10 o'clock is the usual church time. Okay. Again, these are, I'm not holding you to these times. Please you know, fill in that form for Ashley, well, that Ashley sent around, but I'm trying to get a rough sense now. Family day. Can I go back, please? Yeah. Uh, 300 chickens. Does that mean whole chickens or half? You can't eat a whole chicken. No, well, you can split it. <laughs> They're halves. So 300 halves. Thank you. Sure. Rasta, you're at an Amy. What's going on with Family Day? Uh, it's going to be June 25th from 10 to 4. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that we'll have um, Tom's Hot Dog signed up for food this week. And I also was considering stopping at Muffins um, to see if they wanted to set up a tent to do grab and go sandwiches or if they were willing to maybe donate the cookie platter, a few, you know, platters. Um, so that's kind of my hope with that. Um, I'm hoping to also finalize the bounce houses um, with the committee next week so we can, you know, reserve three or four of those and get a, a price or a quote for them. Um, we also, I want to talk to Keith, catch up with you about possibly having some of the town's big rigs there for the day. Um, I'm going to meet with John and Wayne and possibly Brenda Clemens um, to work on the kids' firemen muster activity. Um, so I really want to try to get the save the date out at the beginning of March. Um, I think it would be really nice to hook up with local rec departments and um, with elementary schools to, for outreach efforts um, to distribute the flyers. 
Um, but I think we're heading in the right direction. Um, I was a little up, you know, a little um, put off when I contacted 16 food trucks and about 12 of them responded with they couldn't be there because they were going to be at the Green River Festival. Um, um, but we're, we're <laughs> I, I I also did consider. I felt a little bad con keep contacting Gary, like, "Hey, can you can you do this for us?" But after talking with Don, and Don said he'd stop by with me, and if it doesn't work out, I can definitely see what the wait in. Maybe there's you know, maybe there's something he has in mind that he could figure out for Family Day that's kid appropriate, and um, he'd be willing to you know to do for us. So um, I, we have a lot of stops to make over the next week. Okay. Amy, 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 one of the things also, you know, we had the cash donation from muffins. Yeah. Uh, you know, if that's the case and they're and they're willing to do something like that, um, that can go. I, I don't see any reason why that can't go back to them and let them do some, you know, donating the food in their time to be there. They don't have yeah. to do both if can they don't I offer they that or yeah. Like, do I need to wait for final approval from you guys? Or can I offer that? Like, hey, instead of the $500 donation, can we do, you know, something with food instead? I, uh, yeah, I think you can certainly offer that. We, we don't even have the check yet, so. <laughs> okay. It's, okay. It's a conversation worth having. Okay. Right. Um, Keith, how do you feel about bringing I, in some big rigs for the day? That is, I, I mean, I CN Wood has already committed to that. Um, oh, great. I, I know I can get um, local contractors. Um, I would even potentially reach out to even like the National Guard, but I don't know if we need to go that far. Um, I have no no doubt that we're going to be able to get some big equipment there. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Anything else on family day? Fireman's muster. The fireman's muster will be uh, June 19th at 1 o'clock at Hurley Park. Mm -hmm. What else you need to know? What else? I'm, I, in general, how are the plans <laughs> coming? Have you invited whomever you want to? Uh, no, Wayne and I are going to go to, they have a meeting in March that we're going to go to. All, most, of your, most of your teams will come out of... Uh, Berkshire County. Okay. And Good. Okay. Fireworks. We're on target. It all depends. They can change things up at pretty much at the last minute, depending on budget. So, okay. As long as we keep it on under 10,000, we're fine. We run into trouble if we hit 10,000 because then we need to have, have bid it. Um, Okay. We, talk, we, we talked yeah. a little bit at the fire station yesterday about the fireworks and we're going to, we'd like to put some parking ideas out there when it comes along, like parking on the east side of uh, Chestnut Plain Road. And we're, we'll also uh, block off the access road down by the river below the, below the park, below the field where we're going to shoot the fireworks off. If somebody, whoever has been in contact with Yankee to ask if that parking lot would be available, because that would be a nice spot. That I was can, also I on talk, John's list. I can, I can talk to Bill. That'd be great. If I write it down, I will. <laughs> I can relate. Okay. I'm waiting until you write that down before I ask you for the parade. For what? Update on the parade. Oh, uh, um, I have a couple. I have a couple more bands. Uh, we we opted not to go with a, a drummer uh, string band out of Philadelphia because of the cost, and their advertising only looked like they were they were looking for like six thousand six thousand dollars for twelve people. Ooh. But so we opted we opted to do that. So we I got a hold of the American Legion band from Brattleboro and the American Legion band from Keene. And right. I'm waiting for a list of the bands from Sunderland. And she said that she would get them to me if I could find a couple more. And we have uh, 
the country line dancers and the, and the mummers so far. Not the, not the mummers, the Shriners. The no, Shriners. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> invitation has gone out to area fire departments and towns so that they could send their send their parades over there. there. Uh, the select boards um, or whoever they want to send uh, from the communities that the five communities that are ne next to us. Mm -hmm. Good. What time are you planning? No. Good. Oh, we're going to close the roads be before that. So. Okay. But that's what time the parade is scheduled. We, we want to start them off at. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Say that again. Do you have a route for the parade? You know the oh, route. absolutely. We have a route. Can you tell me? Will be, well, it will go from the church almost to your house. Oh, wonderful. So <laughs> it'll, the, the end of the parade will end at uh, Long Plain Road. Okay. Long Plain Road and Christian Lane. Now, they got three directions to go to. And then if they go straight through, they got two more break, yeah, exits. John, did you get the roster of whoever was in the Hatfield parade this spring or last spring? Do, no. Because they, they had a lot of different vehicles from, from everywhere. It just may be, may be worth yeah. asking them. Um, tractor parade. The tractor parade. Um, JD Ross is going to be is the chairman of that, um, and I, I don't have an exact time as far as the starting goes. Um, it's sometime in the morning, and he is. Um, there's going to be some food of some sort that he is willing to see to it that he covers that expense to the to the part, people that are participating in that aspect. So. He's going to be underwriting that aspect of it. Um, he doesn't, they're working on the route still. They don't want to probably have the route as long as like we do with the Santa parade. Some of the tractors that participate, it's not the best idea to have them climbing steep hills and also going down long steep hills with the, with the braking mechanisms that they may have. So um, anyways, that's, that's, Things are moving forward with the tractor parade. Great. Can can you have him contact me when he has an amount? Just I want to make sure to get him a yes. an acknowledgement for tax purposes for for a contribution. Yes. Yep. No problem. Okay. Um, let's Joyce. If I can interrupt your dinner for the concerts. So I, I see on the schedule you have a concert at cruise night. Um, the library is taking care of a concert at the dedication. You're you're muted. Hey. You lost choice. No, my battery is low, so I've got to plug it in here as well. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I can relax without that big red light flashing in front of me. <laughs> yeah, um, with concerts? Yes. Um, we, I'm guessing we will be able to get you know, more things firmed up as we go along now that the, I know the polka night is not going to be at the town hall. We have to decide whether we could have a concert of a you know, very different kind of music on that night. So we may have more concerts than are currently on the calendar. Um, but the plan was uh, have one at the barbecue um, and have one at the cruise night. The one where I still need to do a little more communication. The friends at the library want to um, have 
TJ and the Peepers, but then there was some talk that they wanted that to be on family day and but the family day is really not interested in that. So there's a little bit of confusion on that particular thing, but I don't think it would affect, like it's, it's not like there's an event that's not gonna happen. You know, family day is gonna happen and um, they, they may end up with a TJ and the Peepers concert another night. They definitely want to sponsor the concert on Monday night, the night of the dedication. Yeah. So we have to do a little bit more communication about what they're going to do and whose budget, which things are coming out of. Um, same thing for Mr. G. The one thing I haven't gotten back to um, Amy about, which I meant to, um, is which budget should we have Mr. G come out of? We could do it out of either. If it comes out of the family day budget, though, maybe there'll be a concert on Thursday. Um, and we can sort of take advantage of the Green River Festival being here. There'll be some artists who might be looking to do something Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, even if they're performing Saturday in Greenfield, we may be able to have um, some uh, more concerts there if we can uh, put in a little bit of the budget that we have, since we haven't budgeted everything that you budgeted for us yet. Okay. Um, right now though, um, it was like last month was a little bit early to be getting commitments from people. So I've got to be back in touch with Paul um, he had just gotten the Green River Festival list and was, uh, so we were kind of, he was looking into that to see what could happen. So I would be conservative about the, for the, the scoop flyer um, to say, that, you know, concerts at, I, 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 I can't tell you the artists for each of the concerts, <laughs> other than we, we want to have um, Mr. G at Family Day. Uh, probably it's going to be Ronnie Arbo at the barbecue because they like afternoon and late, you know, early evening things. Um, and he'll get some bigger name for Wednesday night. And then we're going to try and get concerts on any other night that there isn't another event. Or if there is an event, do something with a like polka night. We're not going to have a polka band in competition with polka night, but maybe there would be a different artist around who could, um, who could, you know, just appeal to a different part of the crowd. Joyce, is there anybody that would be appropriate for um, arts and crafts show? You know, I've been to arts and crafts shows where, um, what's his name, Blanchette, Peter yeah. Blanchette um, has, like I, the first place I saw him ever play was the Paradise City Arts Festival. Um, he set up there with some, uh, with some CDs and his arch guitar. And um, so I guess that's a potential thing uh, we could look for if you were interested in that. He'd probably want to sell CDs as well, but, and that's an art, right? Yeah, of course. So yeah, it's something that I was, th I've been thinking about. Oh, okay. So yeah. maybe we'll, we can be in contact about that. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, thank you. Good. Joyce, but, mm. sorry, as far as the money goes, mm -hmm. I want, we want to make sure we spend $10,000 on family day. If we go right. under, we lose whatever is under. Right. So if we go over, we can probably cover whatever the overage is out of general funds. But if you can get a, put a band into family day budget, I would put it into family day budget. Okay. Okay. Well, I need to be back in touch with Amy about um, about what else they've got planned and where the budget. Is. So to me, that it, it was to me, it's not that important a question in a way. Uh, other than we've got to spend the money correctly. I'm guessing that she has plenty of budget and I have plenty of budget and we'll figure out which budget's better for it to come out of. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that we, we the family yeah. day budget no, understood. is is state understood money. that okay. we, yeah. we might lean that way, but I, I don't know what her budget situation is yet. We can do that offline. Okay. Good. Um I think I've covered have we decided about balloon lines? Do we want to have balloon rides? We had talked about doing that Monday night at the dedication of the library. Is that, do we want to go ahead with that? Is there the room to do it there? Is that something? Can you repeat that, Susan, about the dedication? The, do we want to have the tethered balloon rides at oh. the dedication? That's that's still in my mind probably the best possibility 
knowing of the time frame that he can do it, this, you know, like six, six to nine p.m., six to eight p.m. in that time frame, um, it certainly is not going to work at the family day. And other than that, it's it's not appropriate, you know, fireworks unless it was at down at maybe Hurley, but then again, you're sort of taking, you're not gonna have a big crowd there. So I feel if there's any day that it would work, it would be at the library in the field during the, during the um, dedication and during the time capsule. Do you wanna reach out to him and- I can check, I can check to see if he's available to do it that night. That would be great because if if we want to do that, I want to book that and make sure. It, it, we we are budgeted to do it, so if he's available, I don't see a reason not to. Right, and right. I think that's that would be very popular. That would make this really special for people. We would need to pre-sell tickets. For yeah. That. We, yeah, let me talk a minute about Ashley and I were talking about the events that we need to pre-sell for. Um, we for the matter of crowd control. So you know how many people we have. We want we would have to pre-sell for that. We have to pre-sell for the barbecue because there's a fixed number. Um, probably pre-sell for polka night so we know. How many people will be there? Any other events people think need to be pre sales And then obviously some of the concerts, uh, indoor indoor concerts because of yeah, I think the indoor concerts um, is is a place where we're, they those will be ticketed. They tickets might be free or very low cost, right? right. Given oh, yeah. that we're putting so much money into it, but yeah. they would be, still have to be ticketed. Yeah, I guess yeah. I shouldn't say pre-sell, I should say ticketed. Ashley yeah. had looked into Eventbrite, which is a website yeah. that does this kind of stuff. And she mm. recommends them. She can talk more about it yeah. at our next meeting, but she would want right. to go with Eventbrite for setting this up. Yeah, yeah, and that's the one that Paul uses already. Oh, good, so. okay. So I would need what I would need from you, Joyce, is which of the concerts, I don't need to know who the band is, but which nights would be the ones that would be ticketed? Which are the ones that you're having in a space that we're worried about capacity? Yeah. And if um and if I get and, and if we end up having to change that, that's okay because we'll have at least one more scoop out before yeah. the event. Yeah. But this, um, this is all. When I write the scoop, it's all going to be, you know, tentative. Here's what we're yeah. planning, subject to change. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Changing gears. Keith, you were going to look into alternatives for the, the gift for ben different benches. Were you able to do that? I have not finished that. Um, one question I was curious if Lisa, did you reach out to Judd? You're muted. I know I logged. No, I didn't get a chance to. I can do that this week, Keith, and get back to you All on right. that. Then, you know, between her and I, hopefully then maybe within a week, um, we'll know if if it's even, you know, feasible to go through the, the material that you can get from, you know, Goshen and Ashfield, that type of stone. Okay. You had said that we needed to order this pretty soon, right? About Three, you know, about three months, you know, it's, it, it can wait for maybe another month at the most before we have to commit. Okay, I want to make sure we have time yep. for, to, for it to be fabricated and then uh, Okay. Correct. Um, time capsule. I know that Ashley had put on social asking for input for what to put in the time capsule. We need to nail down at some point what exactly we want to put in it if we want anything created for it for example 50 years ago the school children wrote letters if we wanted to do that we need a bit of time we don't need four months for that but we need to keep keep that in mind so that we can do that and put that all together in time 
Meanwhile, Keith, uh, Don's not on today. The box is being fabricated. Uh, yeah, I, I have, I was hoping to talk to Don today, but I didn't get a chance to. Um, he, he was working with the tech school on it. You know, we, um, we know that's where it's happening. So I'll, I'll follow up with him to make sure that it's fabricated in the real near future. Okay. Um, souvenirs. Fred, how many of the bottles at this point have been etched? Just under 200. Okay, so we have 500 bottles. We need to make a decision at some point how many we want to get etched. Do we want to etch all of them? Do we think we can sell close to 500? Or do we want to etch a smaller number and, you know, based on our expectations because it costs money if we etch some and don't use them. I don't know what people's thoughts are on that. I guess people haven't I thought feel about like it. people yeah. haven't thought about it. I haven't thought about it a lot, but my gut feeling is that we should probably just etch them. You know, they've been around for years and years and years and years. This is kind of one opportunity. We're going to have a week. We're going to have lots of people coming by, lots of people from out of town. So I, I think chances are good that we'll sell them all. Um, if there's a, I, I don't, I know it costs us a little bit of money to etch them, but I don't know. It's just what my gut says. Okay. Other people agree, disagree? I say get them etched. Get them etched. I see a lot okay. of heads nodding. Okay, Brad, you're back. You're going back to Sunderland again. I'm back to Sunderland, yep. <laughs> um, we also have to think about, are there any other souvenirs that we want to either offer that people order, we do not pre-buy, or anything else Somehow I feel like it would be nice if we had one, we got the, the bottles, and then if we had one, what I'm going to call a soft item, whether it's a t-shirt or a baseball cap, something that people can get excited to wear for the event, um, that we would have, we, that we would pre-purchase and have available then, which means that we're gambling that we're going to sell them. I don't know how people feel about that. I mean, I, I would almost suggest that one of the things that we do is when Fred, when you go back to, to talk to Dan, he had came to come to one of our meetings eons ago and was right. willing to, he had a whole catalog of things. And the way he was going to handle it is he goes out on the limb. We don't have to buy anything. Um, and see what we can maybe work up with him to maybe get, you know, even if it's only a percentage of what he sells, we get a little something and let him be the one that keeps all the inventory and we don't have to worry about having and let him somehow facilitate the sale of this stuff. Yeah, he, he can almost produce it just on demand. You know, we tell, you know, on short notice, we need 10 of something. And you can do that rather than keep much in inventory. But are all we, of his, I'm sorry, are all of his things etched or are some printed? What I'm calling I think, hard versus, I think he just does etching. I, I think so too. And you know, so what I was gonna wonder is could we have his or could we maybe narrow down and just pick a half a dozen type of things that we want to somewhat have available and then get those things as a catalog type item to say Ashley or and get it up on our website and Facebook and things of that nature and then let people potentially order straight from him. As far I'll, as, go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll go over when I bring the next group of bottles over, I'll go over and talk to him and see what we can do. I but really like the idea of having a t-shirt. Yeah, that doesn't answer the question of the clothing item, though. 
you know, as far as the clothing goes, you know, I would recommend that we talk to, to Timmy at Pacific and, and go that route again. We're, I don't want us to be in the position where we're ordering a hundred extra large and a hundred smalls and we're worried to end up having, you know, a ton of one size left and none of the others. And it just, that's very, it's a lot of work for somebody to do. And unless someone's willing to step forward to do that, I'm not sure if Pacific is willing to to do a same type of deal that, that Danny Alanik's willing to do where he he keeps the inventory and only supplies it as we need it. Well, Keith, I can tell you no, because the Historical Society just reordered their sweatshirts and t-shirts. And I did it with Pacific. And he only allows you to order and you order it and you have to it at, or before he even starts, you have to put the check in his hands and then you pick up the materials and you hold the inventory. I don't think he'll do that, but maybe he would for you, but I didn't get that. Well, again, unless someone's you know willing to, to, to do that, with the t-shirts and I, you know there's just certainly we would put our, our Waitley logo on it or even our slogan Waitley the one and only um you know something of that nature but again it's a lot of work for someone to facilitate all of the sales of it it's not something we have to decide tonight um, but we can think about it if there's somebody who we think would want to own that. Something else I was going to put in the scoop item was an ask for volunteers. And we can ask if there's, a, you know, see if anybody steps up for that. Speaking of volunteers, we also need to think about for each event, do we need volunteers? And where are those volunteers going to come from? Um, for family day, I would love to have like frontier baseball, softball team or soccer team come maybe in their uniform, their shirts, and they could volunteer to either watch the bounce houses or um, help kids getting on and off the big rigs or any other activity that craft activity we have. I think it'd be really nice to have them there in uniform and little kids can see them. And I, I thought that was a cute idea or having our local rec department chip in um, and either have, we could all have matching shirts on so people know that, you know, they can come to us if they need something. Um, so that's kind of the direction I'm heading in for volunteers. I like that. I like that a lot of involving the kids. Other events that we anticipate needing volunteers for? Yeah, possibly at the concerts, but I don't think it'll be a lot. And um, so I wouldn't, um, I, I suspect those will be easy volunteers to recruit. Okay. Uh, will, will we need anyone or will the police be able to cover polka dance serving food distribution? Yeah, I think I'm just going to rely on my guys in the department. I've already talked to the chief. We should be all right. Actually, that reminds me when we presented to the select board the other night, John was there, and he asked, you know, we, we told him we would give him a list of events and work with him on where we need the department's assistance for traffic, crowd, anything of that sort. That'd be, that'd be wise. <laughs> I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Uh-huh. Jim, Jim was at the meeting we had on Sunday in regards to the parade, so he's, he's well aware of just about everything that's needed, I think, at this point. Great, I'm just looking over my list. Anything else anybody has 
questions on, ideas on, concerns? I want to update a little bit more in regards to the tent. Yes. Um, with Hilltown, one of the issues, and it was already mentioned in regards to the concerts, that weekend is the Green River Festival. Hilltown is big time into, into things at the Green River Festival. Um, he hasn't told, they haven't said no to Waitley. Um, however, one of the things that may end up having to do is we have the polka, which is on one weekend, and we need the tent for that. And then the following weekend is the chicken barbecue. So I had proposed to them putting it up for the first weekend and leaving it up so that they wouldn't have to come and set it up for the second weekend, which is when they're gonna be crazy busy setting things up in the Green River Festival. So I'm waiting to hear back from him in regards to whether they do that. And if, you know, as long as they're not gonna charge us an arm and a leg more for it to sit there all week, I'm, that's what I'm trying to wait to hear from. As far as the cost goes, um, the tent alone, of a 40, 40 foot by 100 foot is 1680. And then we got a lot of other incidentals that add, add cost. Um, as far as tables go, for every 20 foot square, 20 by 20, we'll do four five foot round tables, which hold eight people each table. So each 32 foot I mean, each 20 foot square is 32 people. So I had, I had told him, we're probably looking at tables, 24 tables, which is, we'll use 40 feet by 60 feet, which is 192 seats. Um, that is just a, an approximate number to start with. It could certainly, you know, be potentially brought down, but, um, with the chicken barbecue, there's a lot more likelihood of needing, you know, we're, we're serving 300 people, but serving it in two settings. We figured, John and I figured somewhere around the one night under, just under 200 would probably be a good number. Um, as far as also for the polka, to do it under the tent, to do where the tent would extend out into the, into the field or the, parking the gravel parking lot to have a the wooden dance floor um that's another six hundred dollars to put a dance floor for every 20 foot square so you're we're all together for we could be looking at three to five thousand dollars for all the rental stuff added together uh, i'm waiting to hear back from him with a definite okay um just to That's give you an idea. That's actually consistent with what we had expected. That's fine. The you know, just to give you an idea, you know, ten, um, the, the tables are ten dollars a piece. Um, the folding chairs are a dollar seventy a piece. Um, and so, like I say, a lot of it comes down to is whether or not they're willing to, what they're going to give me for a price to keep it there for, for the entire event. We, we should be fine because a, a we budgeted it to begin with and b for those events we have not budgeted any income so whatever we get in ticket or chicken sales there will be at least some additional money that can go to that and okay. yankee is putting in five thousand dollars towards the barbecue so that may in effect cover these costs and then what people are paying for is for the food itself and however much we charge for that is what we split. Yeah, so we, we should, the numbers you just gave us sound in line with what we're thinking. Okay, I just wanted to update you and hope definitely by then our next meeting, I'll have 100% just, you know, numbers from him. Okay. Good. What else? Anything else? It seems like there are a lot of side conversations going on for specific events, which is exactly what we want to be happening. 
Um, I would say you don't have to wait, and I encourage you not to wait the month to report in. If there's something going on, shoot an email either to the whole group or at least to Keith and me, and we'll make sure everybody gets it. Um, but it sounds like we're making really good progress on the specific things. And if anyone has any expenses that need to be paid up front, let me know. Yeah. Thanks to Fairview, there's money in the account. And yeah, and please let us know what's happened, how you make out on any fundraising, um, in-kind donations conversations. Those are critical to be up to date on for that. Also, I'm going to repeat, please fill in that Google form that Ashley sent around um, because that is the official documentation. You can change things if you need to. What you've told me is fine that you told me, but it doesn't really count unless it's in the Google form, meaning you're trusting me to remember something. So don't do that. Okay. Well, I thank you all. Our next meeting is four weeks from tonight, March 14th. I don't know if we will still be at Zoom or if things will have opened up by then. Um, we will, I will let you know once uh, the week before I'll send around my standard email and let you know Zoom. I guess the choices are Zoom or hybrid. It's not my understanding is the select board would not, or the Board of Health would not go to pure in-person only. Am I correct on that? I'm looking to Fred and Joyce. I think it very unlikely. And jo Joyce is saying yes. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Joyce moves. I see several seconds. I need to do the roll call. Bates. I agree. Frosty. Sarah. Yep. John. Yes. Amy, and you are both muted and invisible. Amy is putting her children to bed. Ah, okay. We will assume that's an adjourning. Lisa. <laughs> yes. Jane. Yes. Fred. Good night. Bill. Yep. Adelia. Pete. Yes. Joyce. <coughs> yes. And me, we stand adjourned. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, Amy, you're back. Do you agree? <laughs> yes. You're to adjourn? I okay. agree. <laughs> Happy Valentine's, everybody. Talk to you Thank soon. Thank you. Good night. You too. Good night.